The grace and peace of God be with all of you in his holy church. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters in Christ, this is a day of rejoicing. We have come together to dedicate this church by offering within it the sacrifice of Christ. May we open our hearts and minds to receive his word with faith. May our fellowship born in the one font of baptism and sustained at the one table of the Lord become the one temple of his spirit as we gather around his, around his altar in love. I'm Dennis O'Neill. <laughs> yeah, I am, although I know many, many of the people here. My wife and I, Jan, have been members of this parish along with our children since 1976. I remember two years ago when you came here to our parish to celebrate with us the groundbreaking where we had shovels in the dirt. Today we are honored that you've been able to return and dedicate this terrific structure, our new church of St. John Vianney, our new church of St. John Vianney that rose from the ashes finally. One of the duties of the rebuild committee was to vet and choose consultants and companies to build this wonderful structure. And today I would like to introduce to you four of those firms. First, we have Ken Griesmer from S. TF Studios in Albuquerque, New Mexico, who was our liturgical consultant. <laughs> Ken ran programs for us for over a two to three year period while we decided on what kind of a structure we'd like to have. Next, we have our project management company, Stegman and Kastner, represented here today by Randy Fulton, the president of SK. Randy? <clears throat> Third, we have the construction general contractor, Del Amo Construction Company represented today by Jerry Donahue, the President Emeritus. And then our chosen architect, Renzo Zacchetto Architects, and we have him present with us today, Renzo Zacchetto. I'm going to ask Renzo to come forward and just share some brief words about this wonderful experience. Good morning, everyone. Buenos dias a todos. I am honored um, to be here today. Archbishop Jose Gomez, um, we are extremely grateful to have you here. Father Nichols, distinguished guests, and all of you, the wonderful people of St. John Vianney. On behalf of a team of architects, engineers, project managers, contractors, technicians, and craftsmen, and all of those that pour their love into the making of this structure, I want to welcome you to this great day of celebration. In 
It has been five years of a wonderful collaboration with all these people. People often think of the architect as being in charge of everything, but we are just one small part of a collaborative effort that in order to be successful, it needs to be working like a very fine-tuned machine. I want to say that under the guidance and wisdom of Father Nichols, our task for the last five years has been easier than normal and wonderful and a very learning experience. <laughs> and I promise he didn't dictate that. <laughs> it is uh, a promise that we made after we heard from the parishioners. We attended seven workshops that this was a, pl a sacred place where the old church had been. What we propose is to create a fellowship garden in the same sacred grounds where the old church had been and where this fellowship garden would be the main entrance to the new church from all sides, not just from the parking lot, from all sides. We gather here, we form a congregation and we form ecclesia, church, a place of community. It is from this place where memories, sad and good ones, were formed in great experiences. We create the path towards the new. And this is what I offer for you to visit today. Thank you very much. I would, I would now, now like to have Renzo present to our Bishop Gomez a replica of, of the drawings for our wonderful new church. And I also would like to have Jerry Donahue, Donahue from Del Amo to come forward and present the architect, I mean the Archbishop with keys to the front door. Good to see you. We're delighted to present the keys. And don't lose the keys. Thank you very much. Thank you for everything. So I got the keys. And I'm very happy to uh, uh, give the keys to uh, Monsignor Nichols. Thank you. Right. Well, you show the keys to. <laughs> it's real. Is this for the new car? <laughs> Go within his gates giving thanks, enter his courts with songs of praise. Dominum, O 
omnes gentes, laudate dominum, exultate, jubilate, per annus domini omnes gentes. In the faith of Christ we walk hand in hand, light before our path as the Lord has planned. Shining the torch of faith in our land, in the name of Christ Jesus. Laudate, laudate dominum, omnes gentes, laudate dominum, exultate, you Exultate, jubilate, per annos domini, omnes gentes. Con los pobres compartimos luz de Cristo y sembramos la palabra del Señor. Fieles en obra y nuestro pensar. Dominum, exultat, 
of God, we are unified by the Spirit's power. We are sanctified, temples of grace where God may abide by the power of the Spirit.
brothers and sisters in Christ, in this solemn rite of dedication, let us ask the Lord our God to bless this water created by his hands. It is a sign of our repentance, a reminder of our baptism, and a symbol of the cleansing of these walls and this altar. May the grace of God help us to remain faithful members of his church, open to the spirit we have received. God of mercy, you call every creature to the life, to the light of life, and surround us with such great love that when we stray, you continually lead us back to Christ our head. For you have established an inheritance of such mercy that those sinners who pass through water made sacred died with Christ and rise restored as members of his body and heirs of his eternal covenant. Bless this water, sanctify it, as it is sprinkled upon us and throughout his, this church, make it a sign of the saving waters of baptism by which we become one in Christ, the temple of your spirit. May all here today and all those in days to come who will celebrate your mysteries in this church be united at last in the holy city of your peace. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord.
May God, the Father of mercies, dwell in this house of prayer. May the grace of the Holy Spirit cleanse us, for we are the temple of his presence. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, pour out your grace upon this place and extend the gift of your help to all who call upon you, that the power of your word and of the sacraments may strengthen here the hearts of all the faithful. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. May the word of God always be here in this place, as it unfolds the mystery of Christ before you and achieves your salvation within the church.
Lectura del libro de Nehemías. Entonces todo el pueblo, como un solo hombre, se reunió en la plaza que está a la puerta del agua y le pidió al maestro Esdras traer el libro de la ley que el Señor le había dado a Israel por medio de Moisés. Así que el día primero del mes séptimo, el sacerdote Esdras llevó la ley ante la asamblea, que estaba compuesta de hombres y mujeres, y de todos los que podían comprender la lectura. Y la leyó en presencia de ellos, desde el alba hasta el mediodía, en la plaza que está frente a la puerta del agua. Todo el pueblo estaba muy atento a la lectura del libro de la ley. El maestro Esdras se puso de pie sobre una plataforma de madera construida para la ocasión. Esdras, a quien la gente podía ver porque él estaba en un lugar más alto, abrió el libro y todo el pueblo se puso de pie. Entonces Esdras bendijo al Señor, el gran Dios, y todo el pueblo, levantando las manos, respondió, Amén y Amén. Luego adoraron al Señor, inclinándose hasta tocar el suelo con la frente. Ellos leían con claridad el libro de la ley de Dios, y lo interpretaban de modo que se comprendiera su lectura. Al oír las palabras de la ley, la gente comenzó a llorar. Por eso el gobernador Nehemías, el sacerdote y maestro Esdras, y los levitas que enseñaban al pueblo, les dijeron, No lloren ni se pongan tristes, porque este día ha sido consagrado al Señor, su Dios. Luego Nehemías añadió, coman bien, tomen bebidas dulces y comparten su comida con quienes no tengan nada, porque este día ha sido consagrado a nuestro Señor. No estén tristes, pues el gozo del Señor es nuestra fortaleza. Palabra de Dios. Precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The 
command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the The statutes of the Lord are true, all of them just. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred to the Lord. In him, you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The Word of the Lord.
be with you. And with A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. The Samaritan woman said to Jesus, Sir, I can see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worship on this mountain, but your people say that the place to worship is in Jerusalem. Jesus said to her, Believe me, woman, that the hour is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You people worship what you do not understand. We worship what we understand because salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming and is now here when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. And indeed, the Father seeks such people to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, very happy to be with all of you today for this beautiful moment of the uh, celebration of the dedication of your, your new church. Um, muy contento de estar con todos ustedes esta mañana para esta celebración tan especial de la dedicación del nuevo templo de su parroquia St. John Vianney. Actually, I've been looking forward to this beautiful day for seven years now. <laughs> Just like you. And I feel so blessed to share this moment with you. This has been a long journey for all of you in this faith community, from suffering and dying to resurrection. We all remember that sad day when your church was born to the ground. And then, after that, all the challenges of having a provisional place to worship, and then find the means to rebuild this uh, beautiful church. This has been indeed a challenging time for, for all of you. The day after the fire, as you recall, was the vigil for Passion Sunday, Palm Sunday. And uh, as a matter of fact, that was kind of the beginning of my first Holy Week in Los Angeles. And we were together. So it was a great blessing for me to be with all of you in that challenging moment that we all uh, went through. But in the midst of all the sorrow, we talk about hope. We knew there will be a rising from these, these ashes. We knew that this cross our Lord was asking you to carry would lead to the resurrection. And so he has. We rise again, thanks be to God. Within these new walls, you will gather as a family of faith, as children of God, brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. In this beautiful place, you will do what God's people have done since the beginning. And we heard that beautiful description in our first reading today from the book of Nehemiah. Just as the people did in those ancient times, we gather in our church as one family to hear God's word proclaimed and interpreted. And we gather to say yes to God's word. Yes to his call to follow him. Yes to doing his will. 
yes to his plan for our lives. In this church building, you will bless God, and God will bless you. He will give you grace and strength in the sacraments. He will give you the courage to, you need to live your faith in the world, outside, beyond these walls. Jesus tells us in today's gospel that we just heard that God is not worshiped only on a mountain or in a temple or in places built by human hands. Jesus says, but the hour is coming and is now here when true worshipers, worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. My dear brothers and sisters, we are living in that hour that Jesus was talking about. We are called to worship the Father in spirit and truth. That means we are called to worship him by the witness of our whole lives. Yes, we are dedicating a new church today. But even more than that, we are dedicating our lives dedicating our lives. Today, we are telling God that we want to glorify him by our lives. We are telling him that we believe in the promises of Jesus. We dedicate a new church today. But the church is not only a building, as we know. The church is you and me, all of us. St. Paul says that we are members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. We cry Jesus himself as the capstone, a temple sacred to the Lord. It's a beautiful image of our lives. But do what we do within these four walls, I guess it's four walls somewhere, One, two, three, I guess four. <laughs> what we do within these four walls is not meant to remain here. We are called to continue the work of the apostles and prophets to build our lives on the solid rock, the foundation of Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, every church shares in the mission of the universal church. And that mission is this, to make this world a temple sacred to the Lord. This is your work and mine. God wants each one of us to be a living stone in this temple that he's building in the world. He's calling each one of us to participate in his great plan of redemption for the world. We are here. We are here to build for God and with God. So in this new church, we need to see that we have a mission in life. And that mission is to live as children of God and try to become like Jesus, to see as he sees, to feel as he does, to be holy as he's holy. He's calling us to open our hearts to building God's kingdom of love and justice and peace. He's calling us to go deeper into the lives of our brothers and sisters, their joys and hopes, their miseries and misfortune. And you and I, we are called to carry out our Christian mission in the world, person to person, heart to heart, by the decisions we make and by the way we treat other people. This is what Jesus means today when he calls us to worship in spirit and truth. We are called to bring God's love into the world, to make his love present everywhere, to help our neighbors to find God and to discover their true dignity as his children. My brothers and sisters, every church, every church building tells a story. It tells the story of the people who built it, where they where, where where they came from, the times they were living in, the struggles and sacrifices. Every church tells the story of a people's hope, 
That was true of the church that your predecessors built. And it is true of this new church. So what story will this beautiful new church tell about you? I think, I really believe, it will testify to your great faith in the resurrection. This church will tell the story of a strong people who believe in the love of, of, of God. How he died so that we might rise. May new love, may new love blossom within these new church walls, like new wine in new wine skins. May new memories be born. May you celebrate the sacred mysteries and bring people, uh, bring people salvation, forgiveness of sins, baptism to new life, communion with the body and blood of Jesus Christ. So, let us celebrate with great joy today. Uh, one of the readings said, the first reading talks about having a nice meal after the celebration, so I hope that we all do that today. <laughs> so let us celebrate with great joy today. Thanks be to God. St. John Vianney, pray for us. And may our Blessed Mother Mary, the Mother of the Church, go with us as we worship God in spirit and truth. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Please stand for a profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from life, true God from true God. The God of Mary, consubstantial with the Father, to bring all things for me, for us men of salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became me. For our sake he was crucified in Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven. And he sit at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory of the church to live in the dead, and his kingdom will have no I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the God of the Lord of God, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the Holy Spirit. Let us ask the saints to support our prayers to God the Father Almighty, who has made the hearts of his people faithful temples of his spirit. Please kneel. Please kneel. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Saint Michael, Holy Angels of God, Saint John the Baptist, Saint Joseph, Saint Peter and Saint Paul, Santa Maria Magdalena, 
sea por nosotros. San Esteban, sea por nosotros. San Ignacio de Antioquía, sea por nosotros. San Lorenzo, sea por nosotros. Saint Candidas, Saint Perpetua and Saint Felicity, Saint Agnes, Saint Maria Goretti, Saint Gregory, Saint Augustine, San Athanasio. Protect your holy church. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Keep the Pope and all the clergy in faithful service to your church. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Bring all peoples together in trust and peace. Lord, we ask you. Strengthen us in your service. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Make this church holy and consecrate it to your worship. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Jesus, Son of the living God. Lord, we ask you. Lord, may the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary and of, and of all the saints make our prayers acceptable to you. May this building which we dedicate to your name be a house of salvation and grace where Christians gather in fellowship, may worship you in spirit and truth, and grow together in love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
in your tent, who may dwell on your holy hill. Saints of God, you have been echoed at the foot of God's altar. Pray for us to the Lord Jesus Christ. Those who walk blamelessly and do what is right and speak the truth from their heart. Saints of God, you have been thrown at the foot of God's altar. Pray for us to the Lord Jesus Christ. Who do not stand with their and do no evil to their friends, nor take up a reproach against their neighbors. Saints of God, you have been enthroned at the foot of God's altar. Pray for us to the Lord Jesus Christ. In whose eyes the wicked are despised, but who honor those who fear the Lord, who stand by them.
Father in heaven, source of holiness and true purpose, it is right that we praise and glorify your name. For today, we come before you to dedicate to your lasting service this house of prayer, this temple of worship, this home in which we are nourished by your word and your sacraments. Here is reflected the mystery of the church. The church is fruitful, made holy by the blood of Christ, a bride made radiant with his glory, a virgin splendid in the wholeness of her faith, a mother blessed through the power of the Spirit. The church is holy, your chosen vineyard. Its branches envelop the world, its tendrils carried on the tree of the cross reach out to the kingdom of heaven. The church is favor, the dwelling place of God on earth, a temple built on living stones, founded on the apostles with Jesus Christ its cornerstone. The church is exalted, a city set on a mountain, a beacon to the whole world, bright with the glory of the Lamb and echoing the prayers of her saints. Lord, send your spirit from heaven to make this church at an ever holy place, and this altar a ready table for the sacrifice of Christ. Here, may the waters of baptism overwhelm the shame of sin. Here, may your people die to sin and live again through grace as your children. Here, may your children gather around your altar, celebrate the memorial of the Paschal Lamb, and be fed at the table of Christ's word and Christ's body. Here, may prayer, the church's banquet, resound through heaven and earth as a plea for the world's salvation. Here, may the poor find justice, the victims of oppression, true freedom. From here, may the whole world, clothed in the dignity of the children of God, enter with gladness to your city of peace. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. We now anoint this altar and this building. May God in his power make them holy, visible signs of the mystery of Christ and his church. This is kind of big, isn't it? <laughs> May take me the whole day to do it.
cisterns and pines, for the courts of the Lord, my heart and my flesh cry out. Even the sparrow may find a home, the swallow a nest for her young. Your altars, my King and my God. He Lord, may your prayer ascend as incense in your sight. As this building is filled with fragrance, so may your church fill the world with the fragrance of Christ.
Please be seated.
Lord, may our prayer ascend as incense in your sight. As this building, no, that's the grown one. Light of the, uh, the collection put, got me nervous. <laughs> Light of Christ, shine forth in the church and bring all nations to the fullness of truth. Now your new church has been dedicated. Congratulations.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the gifts of your joyful church be acceptable to you, O Lord, so that when you people gathering in this holy house may come through these mysteries to everlasting salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right and just that during our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. For you have made the whole world a temple of your glory, that your name might everywhere be extolled, yet you allow us to consecrate to you up places for divine mysteries. And so we dedicate joyfully to your majesty this house of prayer built by human labor. Here is foreshadowed the mystery of the true temple. Here is prefigured the heavenly Jerusalem. For you made the body of your son, born of the tender virgin, the temple consecrated to you, in which the fullness of the Godhead might dwell. You also established the church as a holy city, built upon the foundation of the apostles, with Christ Jesus himself the chief cornerstone, a city to be built of chosen stones, given life at the spirit and bonded by charity, where for endless ages you will be all in all, and the light of Christ will shine on, on them forever. Through him, O Lord, with all the angels and saints, we give you thanks, and in exultation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give light to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose aid you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. John Vianney, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity the pilgrim church on earth with his servant, Francis, our Pope, with Jose, our Bishop, with the order of bishops and all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family who dedicated this church to you. May it be for your family a house of salvation and a place for the celebration of your heavenly sacraments. Here, may the gospel of peace resound and the sacred mysteries be celebrated so that your faithful, formed by the word of life and by divine grace on their pilgrim way through the earthly city, may merit to reach the eternal Jerusalem. Then, in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, through him and, and with him and in him, in the Lord Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, and glory are yours, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, and the Lord Jesus, the Lord, and the Lord, 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 the
Let us pray. Through these holy gifts we have, we have received, O oh Lord, we pray. Instill in our minds an increase of your truth, so we may constantly adore you in your holy temple and glory in your sight with all these saints. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Please be seated. Not bad, our bishop, not bad. God bless you. We told them three hours. 
God bless you. So, so we're right at the halfway point. <laughs> so we're going to have some menudo and some In-N-Out Burger, you know, at the break. So I want to take this moment, my honor and pleasure as your pastor is to thank you for what you've done for us, that we are church. Amen. <laughs> So, gracias a todos ustedes, gracias a todos ustedes por su presencia hoy en esta misa. So, we're going to say a few uh, special thank yous. Let's put our hands together for Archbishop, who did a fabulous job. <laughs> Woo! Orale, orale. <laughs> Let me thank my... Uh, Friends here and uh, bishops, they're the guys with the white pointy hats, so let's put it together. <laughs> Bishop David, <laughs> Bishop Alex. <laughs> now these guys here, they just got out of jail over here, okay? <laughs> these are my brother priests, my very good friends, uh, my classmates, uh, guys in the area. I don't want to name all the names here. We want to mention especially Father Ricky, okay, who's here with us. <laughs> he tried to put out the fire, but no luck. <laughs> We're really privileged and honored to have you here, Supervisor. So let's put our hands together for Supervisor Janison. What a privilege to have you here today. Thank you, thank you. I know this is a lot of church for you, so you get a lot of credit for that. Mention some others. Uh, Cynthia Perulan Colfer, Superintendent of Hacienda La Puente School District. Many thanks to her. Some other names, Jeffrey Hess, principal of Los Altos High School. We're using his parking lot. <laughs> Michael Williams, Hacienda Heights Improvement Association. We want to thank all of them for being here today. Right. So as, as well as the Archbishop, I want to thank all those at the Archdiocese that helped us. Uh, this has been a Herculean task for the last seven years. Uh, it's really been an honor and a privilege for me to be a part of this. But I'd like to wait 25 years before I do it again. <laughs> so our architects, construction company, all consultants and workers, uh, all these names which are in our programs, so a special thanks to all of them. We've had many committees that have uh, worked on this, hundreds and hundreds of our parishioners. We have on the banners of our church today 2,500 names of donors who have given to this church from this parish and from all over the world. So we thank them for their gifts and blessings. Let's put our hands together. For them. I want to especially thank uh, members of law enforcement, uh, LA County Sheriffs, Federal Bureau of Investigation, Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, those who have helped us uh, over these years, all members of law enforcement. I want to thank the Los Angeles County Fire Department. We're very good friends with them. <laughs> So Michael uh, Bridges, Christine, and our entire choir. Wow. Oh, man. And 
And all those people you see helping us, lectors, servers, acolytes, Eucharistic ministers, hospitality, ushers, our dedication uh, committee, you'll see many of them in blue. And I want to mention uh, one particular name, Michael Fike, and also Dan D. White. <laughs> Daniel D. White, for a job well done. After the Mass, uh, todos están invitados uh, para recepción en el centro de O'Callaghan Center. No coma mucho, okay? <laughs> There's a reception afterwards for all of you, so uh, please uh, join us. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Gracias a Dios. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Ah, a special thank you to you, Monsignor Nichols, for your leadership here. Thank you very much. I have just a little uh, mem uh, remembrance of this beautiful day for all of you. It's just a certificate that the church was dedicated today. So it's true. <laughs> And I, I agree with you, no more of these <laughs> challenges in the na at least in the next 25 years. Right? <laughs> so as I say, it's been a joy for me and for all of us to be with all of you today for this special moment. It is a moment of grace for all of us, and I hope that we continue to reflect on this beautiful moment. And it will be not just a memory for a part of our daily life, the wonderful grace that we had today of being part of this dedication, remembering that we are the church, we are the body of Christ, and we are called uh, to share that with the people of our time. God bless you all. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, the Lord of heaven and earth, who has gathered you today for the dedication of this church, make you abounding heavenly blessings. Amen. Amen. May God, who has willed that all his scattered children be gathered in his son, grant that you become his temple and the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May you be made thoroughly clean, so that God may dwell within you, and you may possess with all the saints the inheritance of eternal happiness. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The celebration has ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord, and thank Father Tim. Thanks, Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.